Hi everyone, it's me, I'm ZTKSK and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this video today, I'm going to be going to showing you how to make this fire animation inspired by GT2 Kaisen. And for who's who cannot, you know, like keeping up with this tutorial, I'm already lit a project file link right now in the description. This project file can be used into your AMV project by just simply creating a little texture for example this is your edit and then we just simply drag the full animation and we change the mode and that's pretty awesome about it so now without any further ado let's get right into the tutorial all right so first we're gonna go in to create a new composition and here is my motion blur setting you guys can copy this but it's not really matter so now create a new solid layer and we're gonna use CC Mr. Mercury into this solid layer to make the base animation. You guys can copy the parameter that I saw on the screen right now. It's gonna go in to give you a pretty nice result already. So the rest of the thing we need to do is just simply, you know, like distort the elements. So I'm gonna add symbol choker to limit the amount of particle and then recompose the solid layer. We're gonna be going to duplicate the composition and I'm gonna name that base layer 2. And I'm gonna be going to increase the symbol choker amount as well as add some liquify so that you could, you know, like swing the second composition. But we're gonna go into do that later. Now drop that into the main composition. We're gonna add fill into the base layer and change the fire column. For the second one, as I said, we're gonna add liquify. So we just simply screen the top of the animation so that we could have some sort of outline. So it's pretty simple. You guys can change whatever you guys want to. And we're gonna use check mark so that we could have a stroke. Now once you've done this, we're gonna add Gossam Blur into the first layer. So once you add Gossam Blur, the change the amount of blur as you like and then we duplicate the base layer once again this time i'm gonna be going to make the color a little bit darker and change the opacity as well so we just say tweaking some setting as you like you don't really need to follow my parameters in this as a tutorial now we're gonna create a new solid layer here we're gonna use fractal noise as a way to display the element i wanted to make it you know like a little bit sharper so i'm gonna be going to use dynamic with a very no complexity amount and i'm gonna be going to spread this one just a little bit so that when you display the tag is gonna be look more like a fire animation so yeah i can copy my parameter that all right so now we're gonna be going to click on art and left click into the offset turbulence and copy the command that I'm gonna give in the description so you guys can change the second value as much as you like the higher the faster and the lower the slower it's gonna be going to be depend on your animation now I'm gonna be going to make a little mark so that I could have some sort of fade marks into the fracture noise I don't want the entire animation got displayed equally I just want the top to be the most displayed mark part but the bottom stay pretty the same. So once you've done that, we're gonna be going to pre-combo the fracture noise and create a new adjustment layer. Now we're gonna add this blend map into the adjustment layer and change the parameter. I'm gonna set it at 75 and I'm gonna keep the max pretty the same. And now I'm gonna be going to customize this little thing a little bit by duplicating the base shape layer. I'm gonna make it entirely black so that I could make the little stroke, change the opacity to 100 and then add symbol choker. We're gonna go into chain that to make it a little bit bigger and add set mat so that I'm gonna be going to remove the inner part by choosing the base shape and turn on invert mark. So we basically done 80% of the work for now so now we only need to modify this stroke by adding roughing edges adds our band or you can add some sort of sapphire distort effects they pretty good equally so there's no problem with that make sure to add another displacement map because i don't want it to be getting you know like way to display i just want to be like 25 
and then we're gonna add rotting edges and its auto bin to make it look like it's hand hand bending rather than you know it's computer generated it's pretty hard to explain but yeah basically like that you guys can copy what i did on the screen right now and now we duplicate that stroke layer once again to make these little small dash lines on you know like top of the animation so we duplicate the base layer once again and this time i'm gonna be going to add fraction noise into that so follow the thing that i'm working on the screen right now we basically add the fraction noise straight this until we have just a little bit you know space for the white part and i'm gonna be going to scale it as well so if you guys cannot you know like following the entire tutorial please remember that i'm always provided my project file so you guys can you know go to the, the description and download it as well but i think this one is like pretty simple i wanted to make you know more tutorial like this in the future where i'm recreating some sort of anime effects so here on the screen right now we're gonna be going to change the brightness for the frequency of the white dots and then i'm gonna add linear color key to remove the black parts instead of using screen because now i can change the tolerance value to showing how big or small this dash knife should be and then we add fill once again we change this one into gray and then copy the displacement map into the stroke layer now after some sort of modifying i'm gonna be going to pre-combo the entire animation and now we're gonna get into the part where i'm gonna be going to make this one 10 times better so now the animation looking good enough i'm gonna be going to tweaking for a little bit and drop it into a new composition in the new composition i'm gonna be going to duplicate this one and on the top layer i'm gonna add optical glow you can can use deep glow or normal glow in after effects it's pretty the same so the change the amount the size and some vibrant to make it look more like the one in the anime and on the bottom layer i'm gonna add some nance blur obs and directional blur they are pretty the same but i prefer directional blur in some case but lens blur also good as well especially when you wanted to place the fire on top of an object once you're done with that we're gonna be going to create another adjustment layer and i'm gonna be going to name this one color correction and we just simply add some curve boosting the high eye and make the dark part a little bit brighter and also put the you know like the blue less or the animation a little bit more it's gonna be going to depend on the color that you want and now we are done with the entire thing in the rest of the tutorial i'm gonna be going to showing you guys how to compose this one with some sort of scene here i'm gonna be going to use the background that i took in attack on titan you know the title card now we pre-compose the entire thing and i'm gonna be going to make some sort of back displacement to do that i'm gonna be going to create a new new layer so that the animation can be easily controlled so this part you can, can skip it but i highly recommend you guys to follow this one because this one can be you know like implement on a lot of different projects where you guys gonna be going to link every single value that it can be you know like it should be changes all at one by doing that you guys can have you know save a lot of time as well as increasing the flexibilities on creating this project wow it's it actually 2 a.m right now and i'm duping this you know tutorial that's why my voice sound a little bit weird so we just simply add and left click and then we drag it into the position load do the same with the transform and make sure to add the transform above the displacement map so that it's gonna be going to be procedural damn bro alistair just got fucking zero one bro what the hell anyway so back to the main composition i'm gonna be going to using some hue and saturation i tried to change the color for a little bit you know but it's just some sort of scrappings anyway so once you've done that we're gonna go into create a new adjustment layer so that we can display the background so 
we just add the map into that we masking that and we change these feather and then we're gonna be going to add a little displacement and we choose the map so that the background gonna have a little bit of turbulent display and that's basically all about that all i'm doing for the rest right now is just adding some sort of color correction so that it's gonna be going to highlight the animation so that's pretty awesome about it thank you so much for watching my tutorial uh it's been a while i'm not uploading sorry about that and that's also why my voice sounds a little bit weird today because I'm so busy. I'm making this tutorial at 2 a.m. right now. So if you guys have any suggestion, please comment down below. I really need tutorial ideas for now. And that's all about it. Enjoy the rest of the tutorial. And see you everyone.